Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meher Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to solve sum based on put option under seller's payoff under the subject commodity and derivative market. Again, a must video for TYBMS student. Now, before solving the sum, we need to go through some rules with the help of which we will be able to quickly solve the sum based on put option where we have seller's payoff. Now, the question will be given in the question will contain the exercise and spot price and we have to find the intrinsic value, the call premium and the profit and loss. Exercise and spot price are there in the question. Intrinsic value will be with the help of this small rule that the intrinsic value up to strike price and exercise price when they both are equal will be the negative difference between them and thereafter the intrinsic value will turn out to be zero. So the point where your exercise and spot price are same okay before that all the values will be negative difference thereafter it becomes zero premium since we are selling a put the option uh, the premium will be positive because we are going to receive the money and lastly the profit and loss is nothing but the difference between the intrinsic value and the premium now based on this rule let us see how to solve an actual practical sum okay now let us see the sum based on put option sellers payoff let us see how we need to solve it both tabular way and as well as graphical way first we'll read the question once now it is given that sohil writes a put okay the word writes means you're going to sell off okay so sohil writes a put option of max limited at an exercise price of rupees 100 with a premium of rupees 3 Calculate the profit or loss on the option position for Sohil if the spot price on expiry is as follows. And thereafter, we have been given 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 different spot prices. Also, draw the payoff diagram. Okay, so now let us first start with the tabular way. So we give the heading as put option sellers payoff. The table, the headings will be exercise price, spot price, intrinsic value, call premium received and profit and loss. Now exercise price given in the question was rupees 100 and since we had 10 different spot prices, we will note down 100 in 10 different places. So we have 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. In 10 different places where we have written down the excess price of rupees 100 in spot price we will note down all these 10 different spot prices which are given to us 96 97 98 99 100 101 102 103 104 and 105 now whenever we are solving sum based on put option sellers payoff always remember the intrinsic value before the point where your exercise price and spot price are same before that all your intrinsic value will be the negative difference between the exercise and spot price so you will have negative 4 negative 3 negative 2 negative 1 0 and after that all the values of your intrinsic will be 0 okay now since you are selling since you are writing it off since you are selling we are going to receive the premium since you are receiving the premium will be positive value in our case is rupees 3 so you are noting down 3 positive 3 in all the 10 lines okay and profit and loss the last column that we need to actually find the answer is nothing but the difference between the intrinsic and the call premium you received so negative 4 is my value and I am receiving 3 so there is a loss of negative 1 negative 3 and 3 gives you no profit no loss the intrinsic value is negative 2 but you're receiving 3 so you're earning a profit of rupee 1 you're earning a profit of rupees 2 and thereafter you're going to earn a stagnant profit of rupees 3 so this is how we have to solve sum which is based on put option sellers payoff now the same thing we'll represent it on the graphical way so again on the y-axis we'll have intrinsic value and profit and loss we will start off with zero now since the difference between the profit and loss and the intrinsic value is in ones so we will take the gap of one 
Similarly, we'll have negative one. negative 4 negative 5 now you know on our x-axis we'll have to note down our spot prices so we have 96 97 98 99 now we will start plotting our intrinsic value and our profit and loss on the graphical way so first we'll note down our intrinsic value when the spot price was 96 my intrinsic value was negative 4 at 97 it became negative 3 then it became negative 2 then it became negative 1 then it became 0 and thereafter you know it was flat line of zeros so now here it like it, it goes in the upward direction and then it became flat similarly a profit and loss at 96 it was negative 1 at 97 it became 0 at 98 we had rupee 1 cup profit at 99 we had rupees 2 cup profit at 100 we had rupees 3 cup profit and thereafter it was again a flat line of profit of rupees 3 and 104 and 105 so once we get the plotting we will join it so if you join it you will see that it is an upward curve okay it is an upward curve and then it flattens and become parallel to each other okay so now here the bottom curve is our IV curve and the top curve is nothing but our profit and loss curve okay so this is how we need to solve the sum based on put option where we have the sellers payoff I hope everyone have understood this this was the fourth type under the you know the main topic option so we had two sums based on call option where we had the buyers and the sellers payoff and then we have two sums based on put option where we again have the buyers and the sellers payoff i hope everyone has watched all the four videos again understood how to solve the sums right so with that we will end this video here thank you